couple more things I'll show you about the church which are fascinating to me. You have the 12 apostles that are built in as on the pillars and what they represent of course is that these they're built into a pillar which upholds the church. There's one, here's Paul. It's representing the apostles as the pillars of the church. It says that the, in Ephesians that the church is built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. They're here to hold it up. And uh, here's Peter with the keys, of course. And here's Paul with his sword, holding the word of God in his hand. Jacob, James the Major. And here's Andrew with his x shaped cross that he suffered on. Here's one of my favorite. This is Thomas. Look at his finger. It's twice as long as it should be because that's the finger that was stuck inside the body of Christ in his, in his hand to prove the divinity and the resurrection of Jesus. That's Thomas. And here is John. Always pictured young. He's with his pen writing looking up to heaven and there is the eagle because he flies so high. He's always represented by the eagle. And then here we have Jacob Minor. He is known as the pilgrim and the traveler. And here we have Philip and I saw his tomb just the other day. It's over in the Saints uh, Apostoli, Church of Apostoli. And here we have Matthew who is writing the gospel. And look at the money bag here tax bag that he's now stepping on showing his disdain for his former way of life. And then here we have Bartholomew who was skinned alive. You can see the knife. It's called flayed. He was flayed and there's a skin there with his face. And lastly we have Simon who was sawn in half with a saw and Thaddeus. Those are the apostles. They make up the pillar of the church, the pillars holding up the church.